Hi, I'm Dr. Ashdeep Kaur Anand. I'm the senior consultant and the clinical director at PCMH Resto Health and the trustee of an NGO Being Positive Foundation. I practice at PCMH Resto Health at Shanti Nagar, Bangalore. The question asked is, um, which are the vaccines which a HIV positive person should take and which are the ones which one should HIV positive person should avoid. Now to say that vaccines are given to a person to build one's immunity against a particular infection or a disease, right? So here, since you have asked me this question, I would say that uh, all HIV positive people uh, should receive vaccination as any other adult would. Now, to understand which vaccines should be avoided, well, that's really good because we do not give something called live vaccines to a HIV positive individual whose CD4 count is less than 200. That means the person's immunity is really low because what happens in a live vaccine what is a live vaccine? In a live vaccine, the virus or the bacteria undergoes a series of laboratory tests where the pathogenicity, what we say, that is the uh, disease causing effect of the bacteria or the virus is lost. But it does induce immunity in a person when given. Now, since it's a live virus or a bacteria, it should be avoided in people who have low immunity. It could be a HIV positive person. It could be people who have undergone organ transplant or those who are under cancer treatment as these are the people whose immunity is low. And if a live virus is uh, or a bacteria is injected into them, it can result in actually manifesting into a disease or an infection. So the live vaccines should be avoided in people with a very low CD4 that is less than 200. And uh, the vaccines, the live vaccines would be MMR or um, oral polio vaccine. These uh, and the influenza vaccine, which should not be given to people with a very low CD4. But otherwise, HIV positive individuals should receive any other or all other adult vaccination which other people receive. That is, you can get that, you should receive the pneumococcal influenza and the very important is the HPV vaccine uh, which prevents cancer of the cervix, cancer of the rectum or penis cancer by getting this HPV vaccination. Then hepatitis B vaccine should be given to all HIV positive people, those who do not have hepatitis B. So it is important to test for your hepatitis B antigen before you receive your hepatitis B vaccine. Uh, please see your specialist and ask for adult vaccination and get yourself vaccinated and immunized against all the infections and diseases which can be prevented.